Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple 3D text effect in Photoshop. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop and here you can see I have a blank 1000 pixel by 500 pixel document and the first step in creating this effect is to get some text so go over to your text tool and I found that typically a thicker bolder font works best so I'm using Arial Black with a white color and I'm just going to take and type out uh, RCG R a P H I X. So basically, River City Graphics shortened. I'm going to click the check mark to apply that, and then I'm going to go down and add a stroke by clicking the little F X button at the bottom of the layers palette, and go to stroke. And I'm just going to add a stroke of three pixels and a color of black. Click OK. So now we basically just need to make this text bigger. So I'm just going to grab the uh, selection tool up there, and I'm just going to scale this up while holding Shift. You can see that it's significantly uh, bigger now. So I'm just going to click the check mark and we're good to go on that. So the next step in creating this effect is to take and basically split the stroke off of our text. So the way that we're going to do this is by going over to the little FX icon on our layer and by right clicking and going down to create layer it's going to take and actually split the stroke from the text. So if I turn off the text, you can see that there's a black, um, un the black that was the stroke um, is now visible. So basically Photoshop creates the stroke by making a black shape that's slightly bigger than the layer that's, that has the stroke added to it. So now that we have that done, what we're going to do is take and we're going to duplicate this layer by dragging the stroke down to the create new layer. And once we have that, what we're going to do is press Control T, and this is important. You may need to make sure that you transform it by going to Control T. Then you're going to press the down arrow key once, and then the left arrow key once. Now, once you have this done, you can click the check mark. And why this was important that we um, use the Control T shortcut um, rather than just taking and moving it down with the arrow keys before um, was because now we can use the shortcut Control Alt Shift T. And what that's going to do is just basically repeat the last uh, transformation. And so it recorded the transformation of moving it down one and over one. So when we do that, it's just going to keep duplicating that over and over. So I'm just holding again Control Alt Shift T and it's just going to keep going. So you can basically um, do that as much as you want and you can see that I have a pretty good effect right there um, as far as 3D goes. So once you do that you can take all of these layers because uh, you don't really need all of those anymore. We're just going to hold shift by clicking on the first one, hold shift, click on the last one, right click and go to merge layers. Alright so now you have all of the shadow or all of the uh, thickness basically in one specific layer. So you can see that this is a pretty cool 3D text effect. It's pretty quick to make. Um, you can actually take and just keep copying and then moving over each specific layer, but I like that shortcut, so that's why I threw that in there for you guys. Um, it's very helpful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.